Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Maya and I've been the president of Spartan Veg Club for a little over two years now and I've been vegan for about two and a half years. I'm super excited to share some tips and advice on how to start a plant-based diet today. Looking to go vegan or vegetarian? Find the cause or motive to stop eating animal products that resonates most with you. This could be the animals, the climate, the environment, human rights, feminism, resource usage, health reasons, or any of the many other reasons to cut out animal products. You may find your cause or motive after some education and learning. Once you find a reason to cut out animal products that you are very passionate about, it is hard to ever go back. So, find good and supportive resources. In the process of your education, you will come across many educational and supportive vegan and plant-based resources. Use them. Follow vegan and plant-based Instagrams, subscribe to vegan YouTube pages and blogs, watch vegan documentaries and movies, and read vegan literature. If you follow and keep up with vegan resources and media pages, the whole idea of veganism will seem less foreign to you. The more you can incorporate veganism into your everyday life and make it the norm, the better. I went ahead and included some of my favorite vegan media pages in the caption below. If you are ready to start making active changes in your diet and life, do so in steps and phases. It is difficult to cut out meat and dairy overnight, however, if your body is allowing you to do that, go ahead and do it. I know some people who went vegan overnight and they're still vegan to this day, it just depends on the person and their body. If you're like me, you'll need to cut out dairy and meat in steps and phases. I recommend cutting out red meats first, then white meats, then fish, and then dairy. There are no time frames for these phases, so give yourself as much time as needed to make these transitions. Be patient and understanding with yourself. It's okay to make mistakes, but keep the end goal in mind. Once you've decided to cut meat and dairy out of your diet, find your favorite vegan staples and alternatives. Everyone has their favorite meals, snacks, and ingredients, and you can almost always find your classic favorites in a vegan version. There's a vegan version of almost everything you can think of. Some vegan brands I can think of off the top of my head that are especially popular with new vegans and vegetarians are Gardein, Amy's, Beyond Meat, Daya, So Delicious, Silk, and Earth Balance. Meat and dairy supplements may be some of the first products you are drawn to because it has some of the same savory flavors and satisfaction, and that's completely okay. Meat and dairy alternatives are a completely valid form of vegan food. However, once you get deeper into your vegan journey, it is very important to make sure that you are getting all of your vitamins, minerals, micros, and macros, and all the important elements to make sure that you stay healthy in your diet. Some staples that I always make sure to keep in my kitchen are nutritional yeast, nuts, dates, rolled oats, tofu, quinoa, beans, tahini, plant-based milks, and leafy greens. Also, locate local vegan spots and restaurants that you can treat yourself to every so often. You'd be amazed at some of the quality and deliciousness of some of these vegan spots and they will keep your interest in veganism alive and your taste buds happy. The app Happy Cow helps locate vegan and vegan friendly restaurants around you. It's a great resource. Also locate a local Trader Joe's, Whole Foods or another grocery store of the like. Vegan products are super plentiful at health food stores so you won't have to search as hard on the shelves. My last piece of advice is find a vegan plant-based community or group as a support system. This transition is always easier with a support system. Having others to confide in, ask questions to, and get advice from is always a plus. Through these groups, you may also find some people you naturally connect with and start a vegan friendship. Then you have people to go out with, eat with, cook with, and bond over veganism with. Look on Facebook for vegan communities where people usually post general tips, info, and advice. And join us here at Spartan Veg Club. We're an open community of plant-based and vegan students, and we're always looking to support people in their transitions to a plant-based lifestyle. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you were able to learn something from this video. I hope this video inspired you to consider cutting out animal products and to transition to more of a plant-based lifestyle. Feel free to reach out to me about joining Veg Club, or if you have any other questions about transitioning to a plant-based lifestyle. Next, Loris will be showing you how to cook some delicious plant-based meals. Hi, my name is Loris, and today I'll be showing you three plant-based recipes. They're all vegan. Uh, the first one is a flatbread roti kind of uh, recipe, and then the second one is a spicy avocado pasta, and then the third is um, shishio peppers, and it's super easy. It's my favorite snack, and I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, so for the, the flatbread recipe, it's two cups flour, one teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon sugar, two teaspoons kosher salt, kosher salt, and one cup plain yogurt, and I use the vegan one with coconut milk. And then you're gonna knead all of that together. 
and then cut it into little balls and then I just put it into little balls and then on a plate so I can put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes or so. After taking it out of the fridge, I roll it out as thin as possible. I should have thinned it out a little bit more. But then once it's on the pan and it bubbles up, then flip it and this is exactly what it should look like. So for our next recipe, it calls for two garlic cloves, roasted garlic, a fourth cup of basil, half of a lemon, as much chili pepper as you want, and then half of an avocado. And then for the roasted garlic, it's at 400 degrees, you cut off the tips, and then you put it in for 40 minutes. And then once you add all of those into your Nutribullet or blender, whatever, you also add two more tablespoons of olive oil and two more tablespoons of water. And then you want that all blended until it's a nice green color. And you want your water ready for your pasta. And while it's boiling, remember add some salt, we need some flavor. Once your pasta is all finished, you want to save some of that pasta water and then add it to the avocado mixture as well. And it makes it a little bit more starchier and creamy as it sits. And my last favorite snack, these are shishio peppers. First, you want to take them out of the bag. I always buy them at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, Ralph's, anywhere. And then you want to add olive oil to it. Don't add as much as I did. I kind of went a little nutty. Uh, and then you can add salt to it, pepper, chili, whatever. They have a nice spice and crunch to them. I like to make them super toasted. And then you want to put them in the oven at 450 degrees for about 10 minutes or so and they should come out looking like that. Here are the end results. I love using the bread as a wrap or to eat with salad. I love these shio peppers as a snack. And then the pasta is so easy. It's literally like five, six ingredients. Hope you guys are so happy with me. Uh, my name is Loris, and check out Spartan Bed Club for more recipes and anything veggie. Uh, we'll be doing weekly updates and highlights. So, oh, and also check out my highlight for my buffalo cauliflower wings. They're bomb and my vegan ranch. So, have a good day.